<clears throat> Come on, buffer. I don't know what the hell that was. <clears throat> anyway, what? Welcome. <clears throat> wow, I can't talk. <clears throat> <clears throat> what is up, people of the world? It's me, again, Alex Swimmer, aka AP3 Jones. Welcome to the Vlog 78, where I not only talk about Star Wars Day, but the Star Wars 40th anniversary of the whole franchise and the first movie and everything. So, let's get started. First, I'm going to talk about. I'm just going to jump around between my personal history of Star Wars and the overall legacy that it's had. So, I'm not even sure where to begin other than the fact that I, I first got into Star Wars as a kid and still have Star Wars to this very day. And I think most people who love Star Wars first start getting into it when they were kids, too. I mean, that's exactly what James Rolfe said. And I'm going to start par paraphrasing what he said in his Star Wars videos that he made about half a year ago. I think it was. So, yeah. <clears throat> One of the reasons he says that people love Star Wars so much is the fact that it blends so many different types of, you know, <clears throat> genres into one type of film fr slash franchise. <clears throat> because there's a dog hair on my screen, I don't know why. But, <laughs> <clears throat> you know, there are a lot of futuristic elements within Star Wars. But, it happened a long, long time ago. Of course, there are many elements of sci-fi in Star Wars, but there are also just as many elements of fantasy thrown in, which I personally think is, is really cool. Didn't really realize these things until, until James pointed this out. I didn't realize so many different genres were thrown into Star Wars and because of that, it all feels like its own unique genre, almost, kinda. Like, Star Wars itself has become its own medium at this point, but I'll get to that in a second. The weapons in Star Wars 2? James was going on about how films either have guns or swords as weapons. Star Wars happens to have both, with its blast rifles and, you know the name, the lightsabers. But yeah, I couldn't tell you how much merchandise I've always had for Star Wars as a kid. Playing cards, calendars, um, toys, and I'll get to the obvious one here in a sec, but an early random fun fact, I dressed up as Darth Vader for Halloween, actually, during 7th grade in 2008. And that was pretty fun, and aside from that, I had my own green lightsaber, which ex expands like this, you, so you have to like throw it in order for it to, you know, be fully cast. And then you have to like push the damn thing back in. Push the segments of the lightsaber back in. I don't know if I'll ever get an actual gold in the dark lightsaber. You know, the ones that cost like $200, I think. <laughs> you can easily buy them at GameStop, but you just gotta scrunch up the dough for it. That's, that's all. Did I say my lightsaber was green? Yeah, I think I did. And also, Lego Star Wars. <laughs> It is the very first. It was the very first licensed theme for Lego, and is the longest running licensed theme too because of it. I've had so many Lego Star Wars sets, and am still collecting Lego Star Wars sets, which I will get into that later. I know I've been saying that a lot, but <laughs> it doesn't seem like the Lego Star Wars theme will end. And you know, <laughs> it doesn't seem like Star Wars as a franchise will ever end either. <clears throat> Star Wars is so expansive. It goes beyond its, tra its traditional set of films, like, you know, its main storyline. There are expanded universe stories. <clears throat> there are storylines with video games, which I love the video games, by the way. I've, I love The Force Unleashed, and I never got to play Battlefront until the most recent one, but <clears throat> Battlefront's still pretty cool. Star Wars has, 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 Star Wars has had a lot of great video games, too, as well. Some of which I've got to play. The Lego Star Wars games too, by, by the way. You know, combining all these different j mediums for one enjoy enjoyable experience. I mean, the very first movie debut, 1977. Excuse me. 
It debuted on May 25th, which is two days after my birthday, as it turns out, which I didn't know what... I didn't know the specific day it came out until a couple hours ago, before I started recording this video. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, but my throat has been killing me. You can thank the dry freaking weather outside and how inconsistent that is. But I'm getting off topic, as usual. I'm honestly not sure what else to say before I get into randomness, other than, like I said, Star Wars is such an a lovable and expansive franchise that it's been around for many many generations and it's it's going to continue to be around probably for another 40 years <laughs> honestly i mean i mean who knows once star wars episode 9 has been released they just might make more main storyline movies after that they just might make up an episode 10, 11, and 12. I mean, who knows? <laughs> that could honestly wind up happening in about 20 more years. But I think I've gushed about Star Wars for long enough. Let's get on with randomness now, shall we? And I don't think I've shown this shirt off yet. I have like six Star Wars shirts, by the way. But this is my Chewbacca shirt. <clears throat> says original wingman yeah <clears throat> nothing on the back random fun fact excuse me random fun fact my aunt could my aunt Irma <clears throat> she she can do Chewbacca's voice pretty well she used to do it very well but doesn't do it so much anymore so another random fun fact is I mean excuse me <laughs> Random object is a Lego ATST Walker. This is the newest version made specifically for the Rogue One movie. <clears throat> and I, I had the original version back in 2008. I gotta say, this one's miles better than that one. It's got similar functions. You can turn the head by pulling a little knob in the back, or just by doing this. <clears throat> but there's new stuff too, such as these little spring loaded shooters, which I'm not gonna bother doing. A little main figure. I'm just going through this very quickly. I think I put the stickers on wrong, but oh well. Just all in all, I really love this this version of the ATSC Walker. It's really cool. You can move the legs though, by the way. Breaking shit off. Son of a bitch. I did not intend for that to happen. But since it's Lego, you can very, and I mean very easily, put these things back. And god damn it, why did I have to do this? Son of a bitch, now I have to Well <laughs> Let me just show off the other minifigs that it came with. This is a rebel trooper. Let's see if it'll focus. Is it gonna focus? It's not gonna focus, is it? Yeah, it's focusing a little bit. Nice figure overall. Really like the helmet. And here's one of the main characters, Bayes Malvis. Bayes Malvis, however you say it. And he has this brick built gun and a uh, backpack thingy. Yeah, that, that thing's pretty weird, but pretty cool at the same time. <laughs> Let me try to fix this. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how you'd stick it back on. Oh, I have it a stud too high. That's what was... Oh. Okay. There we go. See, that's what I love about LEGO too, by the way. You can easily take things apart. <clears throat> and just as easily put them back together. Now, for random fun fact. Did you know that Star Wars Episode 7? <clears throat> that movie is actually the very first Star Wars movie in the main storyline of movies <clears throat> to be released in chronological order. <clears throat> and Episodes 8 and 9 will follow. <clears throat> yeah. I think. 
I think I've said pretty much everything I need to say. I mean, I love Star Wars. Always have. Always will. Very much looking forward to what the franchise is going to do next within the next few years. And for, for many years to come. <clears throat> Here's hoping to another four years of Star Wars. So, <clears throat> if you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to stay tuned for more videos. <clears throat> stay tuned for a single to my vlog tomorrow. And... <sighs> Forgive me, I have a little bit of a headache on top of my sore throat. But I'm Alex Wimmer, aka AP3 Jumped. Thank you so much for watching until the end. That's it for me, and I'll see you soon. May the Force be with you. Always. Happy May the 4th. Happy Star Wars Day. Yes. I'm just going to say it again. May the force be with you. Always. May it be with all of us. As well as as well as Miss Fisher. Goodbye.